Good morning, YouTube. It's me, Vicki. Hi. I wanted to talk about the pros and the cons when taking hair affinity vitamins for hair growth. Okay. Now I am on a challenge and I made a video saying that I was going to take these hair vitamins for at least two months to see if I get any type of progress. Now, this is the second month that I've been taking the hair affinity pills, right? Now, the thing is, unfortunately, I do have braids in my hair, so I can't really see if there's any growth. Okay, however, on the good note, I want to break it down for you how great this vitamin really is. And I have heard reviews and I've heard people say there's people that I know personally who have shared with me and shown me results of different types of things that can happen when taking the hair affinity vitamins okay now what I have noticed is my hairline my hairline has become fuller there was a time before I started taking the hair affinity vitamins it would be it was a lot thinner and I used to be like uh oh you know I felt like you know and that's why it's it's not good for me to wear a lot of ponytails because I love wearing ponytails, pony buns, and it can really put a number on your edges. So I'm noticing since I've been taking it since last month, the hair affinity pills, I started seeing like a difference around my edges and then the nape of my hair and blah, blah. Okay. Second, my eyebrows. I have noticed my eyebrows is starting to grow in. This is it. I purposely did not do anything with my eyebrows today. Just to show you guys that the hair affinity really helps to grow out your eyebrows. My, my eyebrows had stopped at one point from here to here. It was not growing over here, nor was it growing on this side either. So I noticed that I'm noticing that my eyebrows are starting to grow back in. And I'm like, wow, that's so awesome. Because I thought that my eyebrows would never grow again because, you know, for some reason, I think when you get your eyebrows done, you get it waxed, it stops growing to a certain point. It'll just grow from one, like it was growing halfway. Now I have eyebrows on this point, on this end. I see I have nothing on my eyebrows. I, I kid you not. This is all from the hair affinity. So that's another good thing. Third is my nails. <clears throat> I have noticed that my nails have been growing and they're stronger, like very strong. They're not as fragile as they used to because before my nails would grow, like see this little length, it's not even that long, but see, Okay, it's not even that long, but it's I'm getting length and it's stronger. Okay, it's very strong and it's not breaking like it used to, you know, before taking the hair affinity. My hair, my nails would just be like, <clears throat> just break. It'll start growing, then it'll break, then I have to, you know, start over. So that's the cool thing. So three things that I have noticed is that my hairline has grown a lot. Second, my eyebrows is growing like crazy. And third, my nails are growing like crazy. So that's the good that's the good thing the only bad thing that i have to say that i'm not happy with when it comes to the hair affinity vitamin pills is i made a recent video talking about i had a breakout on my face now i was wondering maybe it was stress what could it be now one of the ladies here on yt did say to me that her name is Rasia, 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 whatever i don't know how to say i'm sorry i don't know how to say your name correctly but she knows what i'm talking about her name is right here Rasia, Rasia, Rasia. thank you and she said how it could be the hair affinity pills or sometimes the biotin can cause women to break out because women have complained about that uh, when i was taking the biotin i never had a breakout however now that i'm taking the hair affinity i got like a tremendous amount of breakout on my face and it, like i even the video i have it, it, it I, i've never had any type of skin issue in my life maybe every now and then when it's that time of the month i get like a little pimple here a little pimple there but never to a point where it's like overwhelming like my face the good thing is it only on one side but what i've been noticing it's starting to come on this side now my, again it's hard to really see it here first of all i got foundation on okay and second the lighting i don't have really really good good lighting so it's hard to really detect it but i have to you know so it, it doesn't show like i said i have you know ugh. but anyway that's the only thing i would have to say negative about the pill other than that hair affinity is the most 
best pill out there. And it really works to help with growth. Um, I'm, I got some really good, I can't wait to take my braids out, which will be, this is the, this month I'm taking them out towards the end of March. So two months I'll have them in, it's perfect. I don't want to leave it in any longer because my hair tends to lock and I don't want my hair to lock. Because the last time I had braids like this, I left it in for like three months and I had lock issues. My hair started locking. So yeah, so I'm going to take these out. And I'm going to let my real hair breathe for a little while. Then I'm going to put my hair in braids again. Not these braids, a different, complete different style. So with that being said, I just wanted to come on and share with you guys my review. Because I did say I was going to talk about it. It's too much. I, another thing is I have stopped using the hair affinity pills. Because um, I'm trying to, right now I'm not using any type of harsh chemicals on my skin especially my face like when it comes to ambi i'm not using ambi because the cream um has the hydroquani in it so i don't want to use that anymore uh, i'm not using the soap i'm not using nothing i'm just but basically i'm not using anything that's not natural i i'm still doing the egg white and i'm also doing well i wash my face now recently i wash my face with only coconut oil yeah you could do that you know that right you take some coconut you take a little amount of coconut oil spread it on your hands Put it on your face and massage it in. Warm water. Rinse your face out. And that's it. Pat dry and boom, your face is moisturized and it's going to help. So this is helping to get my skin back to normal. You know, when your skin, you have an issue with your skin, the last thing you need to do is damage it even more by, you know, doing extra and adding different type of things on your skin. So definitely not. I've stopped using any type of... Uh, any type of heavy duty things on my skin. I'm keeping it like right now I'm considering my skin to be sensitive because of what's happening on my right side of my face. Okay. So until then I'll, I'll go back to my Ambi and go back to the other stuff. Okay. So take care. God bless and have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye-bye.